yesterday we got notified there was going to be a thunderstorm. We thought we could beat it. Well, we got caught in it on the way home from the store to get milk and came home to a disastrous mess. We lost the top of this tree over here. More branches all over the place. The drought really hasn't helped. We've already had leaf drop and stuff, but I think it weakened the branches even more just because it's been so dry out. I mean, we haven't had a really good rainstorm in about two weeks, maybe even three. All these planters were knocked over. The cap for the chimney on the farmhouse got blown about 100 feet. It's sitting over there by the shop. But the good news is, is that the seeds that I sowed last week, the zinnias and cosmos in here, have started to germinate. I haven't seen any of the squash that I seeded come up quite yet, but it has been pretty warm. Um, I was really happy that the trellises stayed up. One of them tipped a teeny bit, but the beans are starting to climb. The cabbages are doing a little bit better. Um, the rutabagas that I seeded in here are starting to sprout, and then I put in some bush beans in between. Um, then I had some seed trays here on the porch that got blown all over. They're actually pieces of it down the hill near the donkey's pen I need to go pick up. Um, but I'm really glad we got so much rain. I mean, it dropped about an inch of rain sideways in a half an hour, but it'll keep the beds wet enough that I don't have to come out here multiple times a week to make sure it stays moist enough for germination. And while we're out here, let's check on the carrots. Nope. Nope. I put these boards down because it helps keep the moisture in so that the carrots can germinate. And then so none of the carrots, I lifted all the boards and checked, and none of the carrots have germinated yet, but I think with all that rain, they should shortly. And then I planted spring onions all along this edge of the bed. Then I planted this bed, so we've got the runner beans coming up. Um, I planted onion, just onion seeds, because worst comes to worst, they can overwinter. And I've got enough time left in the year if they germinate quickly that I'll have onions. So we did onions around the outside and then Swiss chard and kale and rutabagas in this bed. And then kale and Swiss chard and onions in this bed. Came and checked, and we have little Swiss chard babies coming up, and the cucumbers, and more cucumbers, and melons. And the pumpkins have been loving this heat. We hit uh, almost 105 this week. Um, melons, that one's. A dulce de la tabla, and then the sweet corn, cow peas, and more sweet corn, and then that one's a delicata squash, I think, and then more squash and sunflowers, more sunflowers, more squash. Cow peas. Um, 
squash and then a Georgia candy roaster squash and then yams sweet potatoes yams more squash and then the beans that I planted here all came really well I need to figure out what I'm going to plant here um, oh. and this is hornworm damage see how it's absolutely defoliated but I think a bird came and got him because I don't see him on that one or any of the neighboring plants they stumped how right in the same row the same variety of tomato one can be this big the one right next to it is all shriveled and teeny and the next one is fine and the next two I don't know it does make me happy that I have extra plants that I can plant just in case but, and the beans are coming up the best producing tomato so far and I'm really surprised that it didn't drop all these blossoms in the 100 plus degree heat is this golden nugget tomato and I would prune it back but it says it's a determinant but it's growing like an indeterminate because that's two plants. These ones are getting big enough that I can tie them up now. So I need to do that this week because they're starting to get all wonky on me. But this whole bed is determinate. And I did that so that I would remember not to chop them. Eggplants are doing, oh, struggling. The sweet potatoes in this bed are really happy with life. And then we've got squash and melons. Some of them have pests, got chopped off or munched up by pests. Um, so I've got to replant. And then melons and squash again. All these leaves just dropped everywhere from the trees. And I can't remember what bean this was. Oh, probably purple potted beans. And then more corn that's starting to come up. I know they say knee high by the 4th of July and I missed the boat on that one big time, but it is what it is and I hope we have enough time. And then melons there at the end. A lot of these peppers were really struggling and totally defoliated, but I think it was because they weren't getting enough water. It may have been that there was too much water, but after I took over watering when we got home, see how it's pushed out? All that new growth is green growth, and so they're much happier. I mean, even this one died all the way back down to the ground, but it's coming back. So. I'm hopeful that at least some of the pepper plants will survive, but only time will tell. The snapdragons are blooming. The poppies look like they're getting ready to. Oh, this is starting to fill out so beautifully. They just, oh, this color is my favorite. The oranges and pinks and then I'm just letting this volunteer sunflower go then over here this rutabecchia is starting to bud up oh no the calendula there is starting to bud up and then since we got back I haven't had any blossoms on this rose but now we've got two they're really liking the water 
I have to get this quick fire in the ground, but I have to find a good spot for it first. Thanks for coming along with me to survey the damage. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for coming along with me to survey the damage. Have a beautiful day.